Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the flash fill feature and this is a feature that was introduced in Excel 2013 and it is basically programming by example. That's what Microsoft calls it. So basically what you do is you give it some examples, enough examples where it will then follow through on the examples for you. What does that mean? Let's say for example we have a full name here and we want to separate it out. We want it to maybe just take the first name out. Now what we can do is type in the first name here, Catherine, and press control enter to stay in the cell. And flash fill, there's a couple ways you can uh, execute, execute flash fill. You can go under the home uh, tab here under the ribbon, go to fill and go to flash fill. And you, now you notice that it has actually filled out all the first names. Control Z to undo that. We can also do that with the last names, right? And I can type Remy, Control Enter, and instead of using the fill command here, I can use the keyboard shortcut. You can notice here if I do go under fill and click the drop down flash, flash fill, you'll notice the keyboard shortcut there is Control E, right? So I can stay in that cell and just type in Control E, and now you notice all the last names show up. So instead of typing in a function like left, all right and mid those functions to get out or extract the first name or last name you can actually use flash fill to do it let's go into our second example here and in this example what I want to do is I want to combine the first name and last name and I'm gonna make an example for Excel to figure it out so I'll type in Catherine and space Remy and control enter and this, this is actually enough of an example for Excel to recognize what you want to do press control E for a flash fill and it has actually filled out everything down there so this is actually a pretty good feature instead of writing functions or formulas you can actually just use flash fill to take care of that for you let's go into our third example here let's say I just want to get the initials out of the full name I'll type K and then R control enter to stay in that cell control E to flash fill and now you notice it's filled in the initials here and you notice look it even was smart enough to figure out that even though there's a middle initial here, it took out the C and the K. Let's go to our fourth example here. Let's say we want to concatenate uh, some values here. So I'll type in Catherine and then Remy. And maybe I want to concatenate it and I just want to have a hyphen there. Space and nine, oops, 907831. Control enter to stay in that cell. Let's double click the column to auto fit. Press control E and now you notice it has actually concatenated it and added that uh, dash. You notice it's, it's done that pretty well. Let's uh, double click it to auto fit here and it's done that. So you notice that in addition to um, filling out values that are already in cells in your columns, you can add extra characters and concatenate that. I added a dash here. So let's go to example number five here. And we can actually pull out data here from dates. Now there's a little bit of dates don't really work that well. You'll notice if I type in seven, control enter, and press control E to concatenate, it uh, was able actually to figure this out. That's kind of nice that it actually figured out this out. I found that when I used dates, there was some things that kind of went awry with that so you have to kind of be careful with dates now with here we can actually take out the year too if you notice here I type in 2012 control enter control E it pulled out the years from this date column so that's kind of nice right let's go to our sixth example here and let's say we want to separate the phone number and I want to do uh, parentheses 916 parentheses and then 712 and 4690. Oh, this is not a good phone number, but uh, well, I think you'll kind of understand what I'm trying to do. Let's type a hyphen here. Press Control Enter to complete that and stay in the cell. Control E, and I've got my phone numbers. Now, this first phone number should have had a digit at the very end, but you notice now it's created a phone number format for this one, this particular column where it didn't have any format, 
like parentheses and a hyphen. So that's kind of nice that it did that. So there's a couple examples of using Flash Fill in Excel. You can see it's actually a very powerful feature. So instead of writing any functions or formulas, you can actually just use Flash Fill. You give it enough examples for Excel to kind of recognize what you're trying to do, and it will do its best to fill out your particular values in your column. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.